The man of the hour coming to the ice now, Roger McQueen, the sixth ranked prospect on Bob McKenzie's list ahead of the year. Well, Roger McQueen, what can you say? You know, a guy that, you know, we're bad as fans because when we get this a youngster as a 16 year old in the lineup, you just expect so much. We put a lot of pressure on him, but it wasn't until his second season where he just blew the roof off of this building just came out, contributed night after night, and showed the ability that everybody knew he had. Near side, Hughes will tip this into Wheat King territory, and newly minted Wheat King captain Quinn Manti is there first. Hadland on the far side. One hands it ahead, but not out. It's dumped into the right of Eskett. Pantelis back for it for the Wheat King, sending it up the boards. McQueen trying to skate onto it and does. Two Warriors on him right away. Sherman's one of them, but he got sat down by Pantelis. On the far side, kept alive and thrown back out front for Hughes. He couldn't pull the rolling puck to the net. Blakovich on the far boards. Down low to Hughes. Pantelis is after it in the far corner against Sherman. Manti in to help. will take the puck for the Wheat Kings and look up ice. He stretches it out, but the pass is knocked down. Sherman trying to feed it through to the near side. Picking it up at the left circle. He stops up, waits for a lane, and drops it back. Ziprick from the left point. Moves down the wall. Squeezed off by Wynn. Blakovich now on the boards. Good pressure by Moose Jaw on the early going as they throw it down low on the cycle for Hughes. At the top of the left circle, Hughes twisting and turning on Pantelis. Leaves it for Sherman. Thrown back down low to the right of Ethan Eskett. A minute and 40 seconds into this scoreless first period. Wynn trying to get it away from Sherman and does, and he'll rock it the other direction. Wynn through center. Over the line to his left. Makes a move. Put himself offside doing so. And as along to the Wheat Kings who have the puck. Pantelis ahead. Baumuller got a stick on that to steer it in deep, so no icing as it rolls in behind Unger. Hughes for Moose Jaw on the near side. Tips it to the middle, picked off by Wynn. At the left circle, Wynn now charges to the far corner for McQueen below the goal line. Back to the point for Belushko. Belushko sends this through traffic, blocked. And the rebound found by Roger McQueen. He'll drop this back. Ravendahl is on it at center. Poked away to Hadlin. Wheat Kings breaking back in, led by Belushko up the left side. For McQueen at the circle, trying to dance his way in, feeds it across. Wynn pulls the trigger, shoulder saved by Unger. Hadlin finds the rebound at the right circle. Back to Ravendahl with traffic. He sends this through traffic. Hunger the pad save. Warriors send it up the boards. Hadlin is waiting for it to hold the zone. On the near side, he's double teamed. McQueen is in to help. Ravendahl pokes at it at the line. Can't hold the zone for the moment as Lakovich drives it past him. On the far side, Belushko quickly ahead to Hadlin over the line with speed. He's Not forced to dump seven it minutes into a scoreless first. Dagenstein now over the Wheat King line. Chips and chases to the near corner. Stops up against the checking of Manti. Back to the point for Ziprick from the left side. Ziprick fires through traffic. He put it wide of the cage. Johnson after it on the far side. Michaels will find it. He'll knock it to center and skate onto it against the checking of Ziprick. Pumped back into the Wheat Kings zone. Pantelis knocks it back to center. Wheat Kings have to reset, so Manti will. Ahead for Johnson, who gets a stick on it to steer it in deep. 12.40 to go in the first. Good pace to this one. Not a lot of whistles yet. McQueen to the forecheck. Flipped back to the line. Pantelis holds the zone from the far side. Michaels now. Into the corner, chased away by Degagne. He'll spin and play it up the boards. Puck bouncing around awkwardly. Johnson finds it. Back to the line for Quinn Manti. From the left point, he shoots through traffic, hit a body. Found by Dagenstein. He pokes it neatly to himself. Good alert play to get it out to center, but no further. Manti is on it. Manti to Johnson on the far side. Feeds the middle, but it's stopped up. A good pinch there by Degagne. Degagne out to center. Manti first to it. Handing it off for Johnson now. Over the line to his left. Michaels. Charging into the far corner, feeds it to Roger McQueen. He curls back and finds Ravendahl at the top. Ravendahl fires off a stick towards the front of the net. Seminuk is able to knock it away. 11.55 left will tell the you, they absolutely yeah. hate that situation, and, well, that's why. Back to center we go. The Wheat Kings win the draw, trailing by one now, despite an 8-1 shots on goal advantage. We'll see if they have some metal in them to come back. Shipley dumps this in. Schmidt, the goal scorer, is on it first. On to Ness in the near corner. He's poke checked as it pinballs its way out front for Hadlin. Trying to fight his way loose, but the puck bounces neatly for Moose Jaw. Sherman will carry to center. Up the near side for Hughes. At the left circle, Hughes throws it to the front of the net for Lakovic, and a reaction save there by Eskett as the puck was swept away. Win now on the counter for the Wheat Kings. Over to Hadlin, over the line to his left. He throws it to the corner, Ness is on it first. Puck escapes him and rolls neatly to Lakovic. Chopped off his tape, and Belushko will go back and pick it up in Wheat King territory. Belushko ahead for Hadlin. Over the line to his left on Degagne. Nifty drag move by Hadlin. Another nice move by Hadlin. A backhand try saved by Unger. Bob Mueller to the forecheck on the far side, but outweighting him with a nice move was Degagne. Ziprick now ahead for Moose Jaw. Over the Wheat King line, drops it to Hughes. In and out of his feet, he throws it across. Degagne at the right circle, a shot, pad save, Eskett. Rebound for Ziprick, Eskett got that to Lakovic a try, and he sent it wide. Scrambly play in the Wheat King zone. Roger McQueen finally finds it. Lakovic bodies him, but Manti's in to help, and he'll take the puck. Manti airs this to center. Hadlin gloves it down and carries over the line with speed. On his backhand, he's forced to the corner and works it out front for McQueen, who is tied up neatly by an alert Ziprick. Hughes to center for the Warriors. To the far side for Sherman. 
Sherman was getting lined up, elected to knock it in deep. Lakovich after it against Pantelis on the far side. Wheat Kings win the battle up the near boards. Paquette will pinch for Moose Jaw and shoot. Paddle saved by Eskett. Behind the net, Hughes coming up with the puck. Out the far side, winding it up away from Manti. Still shielding it, finds Paquette at the left side. He shoots off the outside of the cage. Lakovich on the rebound for Moose Jaw's best pressure of the period so far. Fed out front, Hadlin trying to find it. Hughes does, it's spun wide of the cage. Hughes coming up with it in the far corner as this line continues to buzz for the Warriors. Driving up the far side, Hughes curls back at the point and shovels it down deep. And the first man to it is Sherman. Sherman stapled by Pantelis. McQueen's in to help, so is Hughes, and again, he comes up with it. Back to the line, from the line, Sawatsky shoots, and Ethan Eskett's seen enough. He will hang on to that with 6-10 to go in the first. To the right of Jackson Unger. Sherman, his opponent for the Warriors. Sherman ties up neatly, and it's fired up the near side. Peter hustles and just manages to hold the right point for the Wheat Kings. With some time, Peter low to Johnson. Back to Peter on the near wall, back to Johnson, back to Peter as they play catch. To the top for Manti, waiting for traffic. He'll send it down the boards and around the net. First two it is Ziprick, but Johnson got in his way to prevent the easy clear. Second effort, the Warriors will get it down the ice thanks to Deegan Kinnever. Eskid is out to play it. Quinn Manti will go back to scoop it up on the handoff from his goaltender with a minute and a half to go in the power play. Win leads the break in through center. Off for Johnson over the line to his right. Carrying into the near corner, he'll steer it off for Win, who sweeps it around the far side. McQueen can't get there in time, so the Wheat King power play will have to try again. Quinn Manti will go back and claim it on the left side of his own territory. 1.15 to go in Ness's minor. Manti carrying wide to his left on Berg, leaves it behind for Dominic Peter on the drop to Win. Back to Peter, over the line, to his left for Roger McQueen. McQueen fires it around the dasher, waiting for it is Johnson on the near side. Back down low to win at the circle. Win comes up with it at the right point, looking for an opening. He'll go to Manti in the middle. Manti winding to his left, hands it off to McQueen. Cutting to the inside against two Warriors, lost the puck, and it's flipped up the boards and out to center. And Manti's got a hustle as Schmidt's looking ahead and looking at open ice. Schmidt cuts to the goal, shorthanded, and he put it just... and he'll wind it up from the left corner. Pass finds McQueen. He'll accelerate right up the middle. Over the line, McQueen drops it to win at the right circle. Win fires blocked after his own rebound. Win tries again and sends it wide. He'll get his own rebound a second time. Up the near boards, Win throwing it to the right point for Pantelis. Pantelis through traffic, tip wide. To the far corner, Hughes finds it for Moose Jaw. Patiently ahead, he flips it up to Lakovich over the Wheat King line. Lakovich pulls up from the right wall. He throws it down low. Sherman overskates it as it rolls to the far side. McQueen is after it. He frees it up with a reverse check. Gets it to the line. Not quite out, but Pantelis will get it the rest of the way. Spun over to Hadlin on the near side. He dumps it to the far corner with two minutes gone in this second period. Win first to it at the bottom of the right circle. Fed it out front, but Lakovich picked it off. And back come the Warriors with Hughes in the lead. One on two as he carries in over the line to his left. Attacking with speed, Hughes fires from a bad angle. Fought off by Eskett. Behind the net, Manti is after it. Strong arming it loose, he finds Win, And Win will air this softly to center. Good touch not to peg the scoreboard with 17.45 to go in the second period as the Wheat Kings work in. Puck is down, the Warriors win it. A calm play back by Schmidt allows Ness to pound it off the boards and all the way down. The Wheat Kings will start off on the back foot with 3.53 remaining in the power play. Manti calmly from behind his net away from Semenuk. Hooks it back onto the tape of Marcus Wynn, who's got lots of runway to Peter up the near side. Peter for McQueen over the line to his left. He rings it around the far boards. Johnson is waiting for it. Johnson lets it roll to Manti at the right point. Back down the boards. Wynn is there first in the far corner. Settling the puck. Wynn back to Peter at the right circle to Manti in the middle. Manti sends this off a body to McQueen at the left side. He'll spin it low to Wynn. Wynn behind the net. Bottles up a pass, it comes right to Semenuk. He spins it back the other way, turned over to Win. Breaking back up the near side, Marcus Win in control. To the line for Peter, from the right point. Peter moves to the inside, drops the shoulder and leaves it for Quinn Manti to win at the right circle. Back to Manti in the middle with traffic. Manti winds to his left, finds Win at the right side. Win to Peter at the right circle. Peter waiting for a lane, his pass blocked right back to him. Calming it from the hash marks. Peter hooks it back to the line. Manti holds the right point with 2.58 to go in the power play. Manti calmly to the middle for Peter at the circle. Back to Manti again from the left point. He shoots through traffic. Save rebound. Win can't find it. McQueen does on the near side, trying to fight against a pair of Warriors. Puck one free. Manti will pinch and hold the line from the middle. Manti walks in, sends it off to Peter. Back to the top for Quinn Manti to Johnson in the far corner. Johnson walking up the boards to Manti in the middle with traffic. Manti goes to win at the left circle, harassed immediately, but he makes the play to Manti from the middle. Manti down to McQueen at the goal line, trying to walk off the goal line, scores! 
Roger McQueen starts the party for the black and gold in 2024-25, and still with a full power play to go on the double minor. Well, such a great set of hands, uh, Roger McQueen. He gets that puck, his back to the net, and somehow he just manages to back. And then, of course, Rorsmuller with that great chance cutting across the front of the net. Sweet Kings win the draw, and Johnson rifles one right off the pipe. Trying to pick up where he left off. Ronald throws it down low, blocked. Johnson will hustle to it just outside the Warrior line and keep control against Dagenstein. Pantelis on the far side. Off to Ronald at the left circle. He'll find McQueen in flight. Roger McQueen accelerating ahead up the near side. Drives over the line, gets his man to bite and drives right to the cooker. Saved by Unger. Rebound, they bang away. Unger has it squeezed against the, the draw on the far side. And he wins it. Ronald for the Wheat Kings. Back to Shipley at the right circle. Shipley dodges a check and accelerates ahead. Up the middle and over the Warrior line. Shipley driving now to his right to the far corner with a shot fought off by Unger. Rebound way high in the air. Shipley trying to find it, but it's Kinneber who does for the Warriors. He'll fire it to center. Ronald trying to knock it down as it rolls on him to the near side. Finley takes Ronald hard to the glass and knocks him down. Following up Dagenstein to the near corner, lost it to Shipley. Kicked around to the far side. Kinneber will find it for the Warriors. Sent up the boards and Ziprick has it for Moose To the right point to Gagne. On the rolling puck, he shoots wide of the cage. It pinballs to the far board. Dagenstein and Shipley after it. Shipley bodies him hard off the puck. And in to find it is Dylan Ronald to the left of that weak king net. McQueen on the pass. Legging it ahead, bounces it up ice to Hadlin. Over the line to his left. Hadlin poke check neatly. McQueen can't knock it down deep despite the long reach, and Ronald will have to try again from the neutral zone. Quickly up ice to McQueen. Winding to his right, he bounces it ahead, looking for win. No icing on the play with 4.40 to go in the second period. Hadlin to the forecheck. His pass finds win in the far corner. Working up on his backhand along the boards. Took a stick in the chops, but kept on going. Ravendahl to the front of the cage. Wide of the net, Hadlin's on it now on the near side, away from Degagne. Dropping it to McQueen in the corner with four and a half to go in the second. Wheat Kings down 2-1. First man to it is Semenuk of the Warriors. He'll carry to center and flip it ahead to himself up the near side. Semenuk on it in the corner. Tried to feed it out front. Ravendahl the block. Semenuk will get it again as Belushko slams him into the glass. Hadlin now in his own left circle. Sending it ahead. Too hard for win. And as Ness catches back up to it, this will be another icing against the Wheat Kings. One. McQueen wins the draw back. Belushko in the near corner carrying ahead. Up the near side, he'll feed this through. It comes to Turco. Turco over the line. Lost it to Lakovic, who's working back the other way. Kovacevic over the Wheat King line to his right. Walks in and fires. He rifled it over top of the cage. Back at the point, held by Ness with a good play. But it's claimed by Belushko, and he'll fire it ahead to Turco. Over the line, one-on-one -on -one with Schmidt. Into the far corner, Turco tries to shake him up. Center where Sherman winds it up. On his backhand, Sherman will dump this in, and Manti goes in after it to the right of Eskett. Manti stops up with two Warriors running at him. McQueen and Pantelis in to help. Sherman up the near side. McQueen finds it. Had it swept off his tape by Lakovic, but he's able to fight his way to center. And over the line comes Hadlin to his right. Hadlin spins back. From the right point, he throws it low to win. That lets it roll back up front. A smart play by win, but Unger had a smarter play paddling it away. McQueen on the near boards now for the Wheat Kings. Back to the right point. Sends it to the left for Manti with Wynn setting the screen. He shoots, hit a body, and never got through. Wins on the puck on the far side. Winding it around the offensive zone. His pass blocked, and Hughes is able to get it out to center ice. Hughes got bottled up by Wynn and stripped of the puck, carrying back in. Wynn trying to dangle, dropped it for McQueen, but he was poke-checked by Hughes, who came back defensively. On the near boards, the Wheat Kings prevent the breakout on the first try. Good move by Paquette to get it on the second. Over the Wheat King line to his left. Paquette hooks the man in the middle. Pass across Stops on a dime. Waits for some four-checkers to back off, but he lost it to Michaels. Mateo Michaels pulling it alone. Hold down. His shot saved by Unger. The arm is up. McQueen's on it to claim the loose puck on the far side. Walking off the boards. McQueen dancing to the inside. Shoots, and he put it wide. Johnson at the right circle. To the top for Manti. From that right point with a delayed call coming against the Warriors. Peter back to Manti in the middle. To the left side for Bame. Bame with traffic. Walks in and fires out of the body and wide. Peter at the rebound block. Another try for Michaels and he sailed it high. Bame on the rebound in the far corner. Sent around behind the net. Johnson back to Peter. He rolls it to McQueen at the right point. McQueen to the middle for Quinn Manti. Manti back to Bame at the left circle. Bame tries again through traffic. Blocked. Peter's on it again. Still a delayed call against the Warriors. Peter moves to his left. To Bame at the left point again. Back across to Manti at the right, to McQueen at the right circle. McQueen shoots, scores! Lightning strikes twice. It's Roger McQueen again, and we're tied at two. Well, you had to be impressed with the Wheat Kings. They have the extra attacker out on the delayed penalty, and they move the puck around the outside. It was like they were on the power play already to begin with. They had to be a little bit tired. Draw to S gets right. 
Tied up off the draw. Sherman finds it out of the pile. He hooks it to the middle for a shot blocked. And Ravendahl picks it up in the right corner. Sent to the left for Quinn Manti. At the circle, Manti feeds it ahead to Hadlin. He'll break wide on Hughes with a nifty move and carry to center. Over the line to his right, Hadlin into the near corner. Around the net, shielding the puck with speed on his back end. Now back to win behind the cage. Out the far side, his pass blocked. It'll come right back to him. Now to McQueen behind the net. On his back end, sending it hard up the boards to Ravendahl, who pinches to hold the zone. McQueen in the corner, kicks it to win. Up the near boards. Ravendahl's waiting for it, but it never got to him. The Warriors will lift it down the ice. Wide of anyone in a moose jaw sweater. So, icing will be the call. Five and a half. Manti reclaims it for the Wheat Kings. Finds McQueen fresh off the bench with some skating room. Over the line to his left. McQueen walks in. Pulls up and flips it to the middle. Got bodied by Berg. Hadlin finds it. Works it back up front and it's wide of the cage. McQueen on it again. Back to the top for Shipley. Winding to his left. Shipley looking for a lane. Spins it to McQueen at the left circle. McQueen a toe drag walking down the boards. He works it into position and put it just wide looking for the hat trick. Bame on the boards, rifles it low to win. To the far corner, Wynn goes after it on to Gagne, pokes him off the puck and comes up with it. Wynn twisting loose, finds Shipley at the left point with traffic. Shipley to the middle, waiting for a lane, holds and fires, tipped in towards the front of the cage, and Unger finds it before anybody else. Unger's left, and Roger McQueen will take it for the Wheat Kings. He ties up, the Warriors claim it. Schmidt out the far side, dumps it ahead. A funny bounce finds Wynn at the left circle. To the boards he goes, and around the net, Wynn tried a lacrosse move, and it rolled on him. Wynn picks it back up at the circle, twisting his way down the boards and around to the far corner for Roger McQueen. His pass fanned on, Kovacevic will pick it up and carry to center, over the line wide to his right. Kovacevic to the middle, but Shipley erased that chance. Puck pops free and Shipley chopped it away again. Hadland on the far side, slung ahead to Wynn. He's got some skating room up the left wall. Wynn breaks in on Schmidt, gets him to bite and drives the cage. Wynn fires blocked, rebound for McQueen, a shot, scores! One, two, three, it's a hat trick on opening night for Roger McQueen! And the Wheat Kings have their first lead of the evening! Well, we've been waiting to see the impact that Marcus Wynn was gonna make offensively. There he goes in, he gets that first shot on net, and the rebound right to you know who, Roger McQueen. And again, he is so quick at finding the opening in those upper shelf areas, and that's exactly where he places this one. Good entry by the Wheat Kings. Taking the puck to the and have a 36-23 shot advantage. McQueen wins the draw. Ravendahl's on it first on the near side. Up the glass and out to center. Ness with a little hitch in his step. Can't catch up to it. Michaels beats out the icing on the near corner. Two Warriors on him right away. Johnson joins the pile for the Wheat Kings. Michaels back to the point. Belushka with a great keep. He'll shoot through traffic, but Unger sees it all the way. Quick change. The right. So that they can have somebody a little more veteran out against him. McQueen wins the draw, but Kovacevic read it. He's unable to clear. McQueen moving to the inside. Poke check before he could shoot. And Kovacevic will get this out to center ice. Onto the tape of McKenzie up the near side. McKenzie walks in and fires at the crossbar. Great shot by McKenzie of the Warriors. Buzz now trying to get back to a tie game. Ness knocking this down below the Wheat King goal line. McQueen's on it first. He'll find Belushko on the far side. Belushko taken off the puck by McKenzie, but Michaels is there to help. Michaels will one-hand this to center ice. Warriors look for a quick counter. McKenzie knocks it down and settles it. Oh, for an offensive zone draw to Unger's left. McQueen ties up and chops it back to Shipley at the right point. His pass rides a stick and finds the mesh. So that and another scramble draw, and this time the Warriors claim it. Ziprick from the right side of his net. Hard up the glass and out to center. Ronald tries to knock it down with McFadden closing in on him. Ronald leaves it for Shipley in the far corner. Carrying ahead, Shipley slings it up ice to win. Over the line to his right, and Wynn drives the middle. Feeds it across too far for McQueen. He'll catch up to it. Behind the net, three Warriors converge on McQueen. Hadlin in to help him as the puck is knocked past Shipley and down the ice. The arm is up, but this one is going to go towards Eskett, just wide of him. Icing will be the call behind him, and McQueen wins the draw cleanly. Shipley from the right point to Ronald at the left. With some time, Ronald to win in the far corner. On his backhand, win with a good reverse hit, sits Ziprick down. Back to Ronald at the left point. Ronald to Shipley in the middle with time. Shipley shoots through traffic wide. Win at the goal line, out for Hadlin, and the puck hopped on him before he could shoot. Back comes Finley on the counter for Moose Jaw. Over the Wheat King line, sweep checked immediately by Dylan Ronald. McFadden taken off the puck by Shipley on the far side, and the Wheat Kings have room to break out. Shipley leads them. McQueen through center. Pass across, finds Hadland over the line to his left. He'll pitchfork this deep, and behind the play, we got a fight. It's Ronald and Finley. The draw to the right of Unger. But it's the Warriors who win it. Seminuk with a great draw, and they pound it down the ice. Kovacevic is looking up ice shorthanded, but he won't get there ahead of Ethan Eskin. Eskin now fighting for it against Kovacevic. They tie each other up as Manti comes in to help. Wheat Kings have two Warriors trapped below the goal line and are looking up ice with numbers. Win over the line, wide to his right, calmly. Walks in at the right circle, pulls the trigger off a of body and wide. Seminuk on the rebound, can't clear. McQueen was in his way. 
win away from Kovacevic down the far boards. Breaking to the slot, win on his backhand, finds McQueen. Behind the net, McQueen backhands it to Peter in the near circle. Sending it across, it's blocked towards the front of the net. Johnson's redirection caused a reaction save. McQueen below the goal line. Coming out the far side to win at the left circle. Back to Manti at the top. Fakes the one-timer. Sends it low to McQueen. Tipped wide. McQueen will pick it up behind the net. Waiting for an opening. He finds Peter at the right circle. Peter sends it back to the front of the net and robbed in close was Johnson. As sprawling around the net. Stops on a dime. Picks it back up and feeds the point. Malushko from the right side. Moves to the middle. Hands it off to McQueen. He shoots through traffic. Unger sees it all the way and hangs on. Right back into the quiet corner and force the Warriors to come the, first, the full 200 feet. Warriors win the draw in their own zone. Schmidt behind his net, pursued by Hadlin, feeds it across. Ziprick is on it. His pass up the far side, chopped out to center. Win is on it. He'll gulp this back into Warrior territory, denying them the break in they need to get Unger out of the net. Schmidt and Sherman will try again. Sherman up the middle, drops it back, and that gives Kovacevic some room. He accelerates over the line, wide to his right. Unger's headed for the bench. Kovacevic in the far corner, stapled by Manti. Kovacevic keeps right on going, up the near boards. Shielding it well, he spins back on win. Kovacevic feeds it back to the top for a shot, never got through. They look for the rebound, the Wheat Kings find it. McQueen airs this down the ice. Roger McQueen skips it towards the empty net, he scores! One for the ages for Roger McQueen! Four on the board and a 4-2 Wheat King lead! Well, when you're hot, you're hot. And even